Bukas, the world's smartest horse according to the World Records Academy and Guinness World Record holder, has joined an elite group, those with a capacity for self-awareness. He has proven that he is able to recognize his own reflection in the mirror as an image of himself. To date, only humans after the age of 18 months, great apes, bottlenose dolphins, orcas, elephants, and European magpies have successfully passed this test. For this experiment, Karen Murdoch, Lucas's owner and trainer, utilized the mirror test developed by Gordon Gallup in 1970, based on observations by Charles Darwin. It determines whether an animal can recognize its own reflection in a mirror as an image of itself. There he is. Look in the mirror. <laughs> Good, good. According to most animal intelligence ranking scales, equine statistics are dismal. Horses rank anywhere from fifth to ninth in intelligence comparisons between species. In addition, the horse population is generally thought to be a typically reactive group at the mercy of flight instincts and walnut-sized brains. Good boy, look at you. Who's that? Good boy. Good boy, look at you. Good boy. Yeah, you're a good boy. Look at you, good boy. Good boy. <laughs> good. Good. Murdoch believes that the commonly used repetitive machine trials to assess horses' learning capabilities are missing some important components. A social and interactive element, intermediary voice prompts, and reinforcement variations. Furthermore, she proposes that the prevailing methods of horse training are inadequate and even counterproductive. In contrast, Lucas's lessons resemble those used for children, enjoyable, gentle, and a mutual exploration into possibilities. A rather unscientific, yet significant supportive substantiation of Lucas's self-awareness abilities includes the fact that he is completely intolerant of any horse near his girl. Yet, in the test, he gave no indication that he believed his reflection to be an interloper. Good boy. Good boy. Is that you in the mirror? That's you, Mom. That's you. That's you right there. <laughs> the most difficult aspect of the test, according to Murdoch, involved Lucas remaining immobile when the test thought was absent. He always wants to do something to please me, says Murdoch, and he's used to trying out different behaviors to get my attention. As always, Murdoch, a psychiatric nurse for the last 26 years and an animal trainer for over 40 years, used her own particular blend of techniques. Who's that? Good boy. Sessions with her dear friend were brief, fun, and tender and included the following guidance. That's you in the mirror, Lucas. You're a horse. I love you. <laughs>